In this video I'm going to show you how to install and use the WoW model viewer and we are starting right now. My name is Xcarlife and if this is your first time you are here and you want to see more World of Warcraft videos, start now by subscribing and also clicking the bell icon so you don't miss anything. To get started you have to head over to your favorite web browser and search for the WoW model viewer into the search bar. When you did that you have to click onto the first link and that will bring you to the official website. Now to download the software you have to click on download at the top of the page. There you have to click on to the latest beta release which is in this case the WMV installer which also supports files for the latest patch. So click on the WMV installer and then just click on download and wait for it to finish. Alright so when your download is complete you have to head over to the download location and click on to the exe file and follow the installation instructions. When all of that is done you can now see that we now have the WAM model viewer icon onto our desktop. Now open up the WAM model viewer and the first time when you open it, it will actually ask you to load your World of Warcraft and here you always want to click on yes. After that you will get another box where you need to select the location where your World of Warcraft is installed onto your system. So now when you have the program up and running, it is also time to explain you how to use it. At the left side of your screen you can import all the models that are also used into the game. So for the purpose of this video I'm going to insert the Anduin model. So just double click onto the model and that will also be imported and displayed onto your screen. When we take a closer look you can also see that we now have extra options to mess with at the bottom of the program called animations. If you click onto the drop down menu you can also select all kinds of animations. So let's say that, that we want our model to sprint, we just select the sprint option Option and you will also see that your model will start sprinting. On top of that we can also slow it down by adjusting the slider to increase or either decrease the speed of a certain animation. Now I can hear you thinking already, can we also add mounts to these models? Well the answer to that question is yes of course. Now to import a mount you have to click on to character at the top and then just click on mount. Now that will open up a brand new box with, with all the available mounts into the game. One last thing before I say goodbye is if you want to export a certain model for creating wallpapers or something else, you can simply click on file at the top and then go to save screenshot. Once your screenshot has been saved you can also open it with a free program such as paint.net and you can start creating whatever you want. If you have any further questions or concerns please feel free to comment down below and I will be more than happy to help you out. But anyways guys that's it for this video, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon and also subscribe for more videos. My name is Xcarlife and I see you in the next one.